guys, my name is Bridget and I have been obsessed with Percy Jackson since I was nine, so that's been about 11 years now. Crazy, I know. I've taken the godly parent quiz a few times because, you know, of course I want to find out who my godly parent is, but I realized I haven't taken it in a hot second, so I figured I would take it with you guys and we could go on this journey together to see who my godly parent is. Because I did this with the Hogwarts sorting quiz, and it was really fun. But JK Rowling sucks. I just have shown a lot more of my love for Percy Jackson in my recent videos and people seem to enjoy that. So I figured I would take my godly parent quiz again to see who I get since it's been a while since I've taken it. My two guesses are Athena or Hades. I think I got Hades last time I took it. So we can see if my answers still align with that. I'm using the Read Riordan quiz. There are a bunch more quizzes on there, so if you guys give this video a big thumbs up and enjoy this, then I would definitely make more of these because I really love taking quizzes and it's a fun time. So this one, it says, Congratulations, you survived monster attacks and made it safely to Camp Half-Blood, the training camp for Greek demigods. What's that? You don't know where to stow your gear? Don't worry, the Hermes cabin will take you in. You can bunk there until you've been claimed by the god who bore you. Or, if you don't want to wait around indefinitely, the gods can be a bit unreliable. Take this quiz for a rapid result. Just don't blame me if you don't like the answer. First question is which of these is your favorite color? And we got blue, green, gold, pink, silver, black. And I say blue, um, that might surprise people, I don't know. My room is blue and then at college all of my stuff was like the blue side and then my roommate Natalie, her stuff was the pink side. Which of the following places do you prefer? The mall, the beach, a forest, a library, a cemetery, a concert hall? Uh, do you see the number of books I own? Uh, a library. <laughs> Which of these foods is your go-to? Sushi, shish kebab, s'mores, rice cake, tuna, barbecue ribs. I'm gonna say barbecue ribs because those are always really good when I have them. I would, my other alternate would be s'mores, but I don't know, I'm feeling more barbecue ribs. Which of these is your favorite pastime? Practicing archery, singing karaoke, exploring a cave, building with Legos, shopping for clothes, riding a horse. None of the above. <laughs> Um, I guess if I had to choose one, I'd say singing karaoke because like that's the one you could probably catch me doing most often out of all of these. Which of these is your favorite animal? Chihuahua, dolphin, rottweiler, elephant, owl, deer. Elephant. They're just so cute. Also, we stand the elephant ladder, so. Which kind of music do you like best? New Age, classical, pop, show tunes, cool jazz, the Grateful Dead. I guess pop. That's generally what I'd be listening to. Actually. No, I say show tunes because really all I have been bopping to in the car and a lot recently is just the Lightning Thief soundtrack. So that, that's for real. I just keep listening to it because it's so good and I'm just like overcome with emotions every time I listen to it. So I guess show tunes. Which one of these apps would you be most likely to use? Zombie Run, City Planner, Hurricane Tracker, Love Match, Voice Recorder, Wildlife Calls. Zombie Run is the one that sounds like a game and interests me the most. So I'm going to say that one. What is your fatal flaw? Moody, arrogant, vain, proud, selfish, distrust people. I feel like I can be selfish sometimes where I'm like, I want this thing. So I'll say I can be selfish. Which is your best quality? I'm an independent worker, I'm creative, I'm a strategic thinker, I'm good at networking, I'm a steadfast friend, or I'm a natural leader. I'd say I'm an independent worker because I get a lot done on my own. Like I just tend to work better on my own and thinking about things. It doesn't really bother me if I'm not working in a group, like group projects, rough. While editing, I was also thinking that since I'm an only child, that adds to me being selfish, which led to me choosing that as my fatal flaw. And also that causes me to be more independent because I've had to get used to working alone a lot as a child because it's only me. My godly parent is Hades. So it says, good work. Based on your responses, you've been claimed by Hades. Go ahead and make yourself at home in cabin 13. Train well, don't forget to brush your teeth occasionally and try not to get sent on a quest. They tend to shorten your lifespan. Your activities director, Kyron. So guys, I guess I am still a child of Hades. I'm a bit shocked. I don't know why, but that's cool. He's one of the big three and Nico is my brother, which we stand Nico, so yes. Hazel is my kind of half-sister, 
of the Roman sort, I guess. That's exciting. Also, they just have really cool powers. All of the children of Hades, they have really awesome powers. So I am out here happy to be a child of Hades. And he seems to treat his children the best out of all the gods. Like he was like in contact with Nico for a while and everything. He seems to have like a, like a at least semi relationship. Like he saved them from being killed by Zeus. So, you know, He's looking out for his kids. So catch me out here being a daughter of Hades. I might add that to my Twitter profile. Should I do that? I think so. It's very exciting. This is a short, fun video. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed seeing me find out who my godly parent is. Let me know down in the comments who your godly parent is. And please subscribe for more fun content. I love Percy Jackson. So if you also love Percy Jackson, I think we get along pretty well. So I'll see you guys in my next video, which will be up very soon. So see you guys then. Okay, bye.